What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my two new ATVs. These are the Polaris Sportsman 450 HO. They're the 2024 model. Um, the reason I bought them is because, well, I've been sitting around waiting for snow in February and like there's no snow at all. I was shopping and I found these at a local dealer for pretty cheap. So I went to go check them out and I ended up buying two of them. As you can see, I've already driven this one. It's uh, It's got about 22 kilometers on it now, I think. I'll show you guys some clips at the end of me driving it around. I went through some pretty deep holes already, actually. But uh, I haven't actually put it in 4x4 yet to see how that works because the two-wheel drive has been working just fine. Uh, so these are the utility model. I was going to get the top model, but I ended up getting these utility ones because I figured instead of me just buying it with all the attachments on it, I'll just make a video showing you guys on me putting all the stuff in, like uh, some winches. I want to put some probably mud tires on it, uh, possibly a rad relocate kit, and uh, yeah, just stuff like that. So I'll just show you around the cleaner machine here, I guess. So the first thing that I'll show you that I like is uh, the front storage. There's just one latch on each side. Then we got some waterproof storage under here. On the new models, they actually move the battery up here rather than barely accessible underneath the machine. So I like that. When I run the winch, they actually have a, a hole cut out and it says winch and the wires come up here. So that's nice to get to the rad uh, cap, it's under here. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys the screen. It's also got the trickle charger, which I like. So that way if I leave them for a while, the battery won't die. And then it's just got a regular 12 volt socket. And then on here, it just shows the fuel, and then RPM, how fast I'm going. This has got three kilometers on it, a little more than I remember, but. And then just your trip meters, how many volts, engine hours, when the next service has gotta be. And this one's how long the key's been on, which is pretty interesting. So right now the timer's counting and I can reset all that stuff, but. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing that I like that Polaris did was on even last year's model, for the clutch housing, there's an exhaust vent here and it was sitting right here. So even if you went into water this deep, the case would fill with water. Now, I'll show you guys, they have it running. have it running under this here and it comes all the way up to here to the top of the seat same with the intake and the intake for the clutches so i like that players is listening to their customers unlike some other manufacturers so uh yeah that's basically it all right guys that's gonna be in today's video i know it was a quick one but i just wanted to show you guys what i've been up to and all the new videos that are be coming so uh yeah be sure you're subscribed so you can see when i post all these videos but other than that guys that's gonna take this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one